Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult fans of LEGO and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at another Game for Peace micro action figure. This is a clone of the uh, Mega Constructs Call of Duty figures. As you've seen from my previous videos, these are not the same quality, but something worth taking a look at. So let's go ahead and open it up, build it up, and see what we think. Alright, and take a look at the back of the box and you can get a better idea of what we have inside. As you can see, there is the figure, he has a parachute, and of course a figure stand and some other accessories. All right, here it is. This is our paratrooper along with his accessories and the parachute. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the accessories and then the figure himself. All right, and here you see the figure stand as well as the uh, collection of accessories. Uh, the rifle is unlike the Mega Constructs rifles in that it is not modular. That is all one big molded piece. Uh, there's a what might be a bipod or maybe a set of uh, wire cutters. There's a sidearm, a blade, a uh, pocket, there's a flashlight, claymore, flashbang, a radio, a canteen, as well as a sling. Also included is this parachute. It's a, a big orange molded piece with these two sets of straps that come down. And the idea, these are, are bar pieces um, and they can be clasped in the hands of the uh, parachutist. All right, so this is our figure with the parachute. Um, the odd thing is he's just holding onto those straps with his hands. There is nothing strapped to the figure itself. There's no backpack for the chute to have ejected from. So uh, a little bit unrealistic, but still fun, I suppose. But this is some relatively hard plastic and it's kind of heavy. It does not work. It's not a working parachute. If I let go of the figure, the parachute doesn't slow him down at all. All right, this is our paratrooper. He has some sunglasses and a beret, as well as a, a tactical vest, a dark green, almost light brown shirt, with the sleeves rolled up, and some strangely lime green pants and brown boots. The figure sculpt is pretty good. It's uh, a direct ripoff of the Mega Construct stuff. The coloring is not the same. Um, the upper torso is fine, but that lime green is just awful. Um, other than the coloring, the figure is not bad, so if you wanted to uh, get a little creative and customize this with some uh, model paint or whatever, you could add some detail and you know change the color of those pants. But uh, as it is, it's just okay. So this was purchased on Amazon. It was actually uh, one of six that came together in a package. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but it was roughly three or four dollars per figure is what it worked out to, I think. I want to say it was like $18 maybe, or could have been as much as $24. I really don't recall, but in any event, the accessory selection is nice. The figure is not too bad, but the coloring just turns me off with those pants. Uh, the parachute is okay, I guess. Definitely not a substitute for a genuine Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs figure, but seeing as those are so difficult to come by, uh, if you need some figures to fill out your armies, this might be one way to get some. 